listening to uh, a books on tape about Genghis Khan and his conquest. Fascinating stuff. You like Joey Graceffa? Do you want to watch the vlog that you and I made yesterday? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of the vlog? Like it. You like it? <laughs> All right. So today is September 11th. 2020. Every year on September 11th, I look at these pictures. These are all pictures that I took of New York City on that horrible, horrible day. And I try to look at these pictures every year, once a year, just to sort of remind myself of, I don't know, the fragility of life, how important it is to be happy in what you do and everything else. That one's of me. This is a tech review. In today's tech review, we'll be focused on the Microsoft Surface Duo. This like two folding, two screen folding phone tablet from Microsoft. So you had like dumb phones back in the day and they were like little Nokias or like the Razer flip phone. And then all of a sudden, Apple comes out with the iPhone and everything changes and we carry these like beautiful little rectangles. This is a OnePlus rectangle, Google rectangle, Samsung rectangle, Palm's tiny rectangle. They're all rectangles. So we're limited to what we can do with these things just by the form factor. So about a year ago, Samsung came out with the Galaxy Fold. And I said then that folding phones are the future, but that future is still largely unrealized. So Microsoft took a totally different approach to two screens and theirs has like this kind of unapologetic seam in the middle. I don't think there's anything dignified about staring at a cell phone. Like you don't know what the person's doing. You don't know if the phone's even on. It's just like it's become this sort of, but when you see someone reading a book, this is dignified. And similarly, and similarly, there's something about, hold on, let me check my phone. The posture that you take with this, it feels more mature than like a cell phone. Not that it necessarily does these things yet, but what it could be, it could be like a tiny laptop where the bottom screen is for data input and the top screen is like the screen screen. The camera on this thing right now is terrible, but imagine in the future it's got a great camera. Imagine the editing on this is optimized for it. And all of a sudden, like, this is your playback screen. This is your edit interface down here. This could be like a mobile video creation solution that goes way beyond what you can do with like a rectangular iPhone or Android phone. So those are like my crazy, irrational, emotional, Casey thoughts on this device. It's very exciting. More practical stuff, it's 1300 bucks. You can buy it right now. It does work as a phone. There are some software implementations on it that are really incredible. Like you can push one button and have two separate apps open on either side. It's super fast. I think Microsoft did a good job like with their apps like Outlook and uh, Microsoft Office to like show you what this thing is capable of. And if you're a heavy business user, I think you could even buy it right now and justify having it. The hardware is so impressive. The software is so 
close. It's so magical to hold in your hands that I think if Apple had announced this, Apple had built this, people would be calling it the future of mobile computing. But because it's Microsoft, and Microsoft's made interesting things like when they bought Nokia or Microsoft Phone, which is a cool operating system, and then it just kind of like faded away, I think there's going to be skepticism around this thing until it either fully matures into something incredible or it just kind of fades away like other interesting ideas Microsoft has had in the past. I hope it turns into something amazing because it's... So Candace and I, we've got three cars and this morning we got one ticket, two tickets, three tickets in one day. It's not that we're that irresponsible. Today's the first day after six months of not ticketing cars. They started ticketing cars. How much is the ticket? What's 73 times three? Uh, 219.